go home i tell my mom about the date and my mom was just like shamaya i feel really good about this she just could not stop saying that they even talked through like voice recording through whatsapp that day the first day my mom was like shamaya well she calls me boop her that's her nickname for me she's like boop i feel really good about this one and i said mom i do too so that was our first date we had many more dates after that we went to we had a date and i babe there's a spider there's a whole spider i see it are you gonna I'll get, get it? it i'll get it can you get it now <laughs> right now our second date was at ikea and we were supposed to go bowling but the bowling alley was really crowded and i'm like uh i still want to like talk to him some more so we ended up going to ikea and kent and we were just walking in ikea dream talking vision casting like getting each other's taste and home decor ah! Okay, he got it. Our second date was at Ikea. We went to Minchie's too. And then we just sat in his car again for hours, just yeah. talking in his car. Like, I mean, these are past midnight hours. And his mom calls. That was my first time talking to her on our second date. She was speaking in French at first. I felt really intimidated because I'm like, oh, I don't know what she's well, saying. She's from Haiti, so. Yeah, I didn't know what she was saying. I don't know if she was talking about me, but I didn't know at that time she didn't know i was in the car because you were like mom my girlfriend's here and i, I did not say that yet. i did not you say were that. yes you did like i remember texting uh, was I joking? Like, you were joking oh okay he said to her my girlfriend's here she started laughing because it was a joke i was not it was our second date our third date we went to a christmas play and it's so crazy how we got to go to this play because the tickets were sold out for all shows weeks prior it's the glory of Christmas play. If you're in Michigan or the Metro Detroit area, I suggest you go. It's at Northridge. It was a Thursday. I called the church and I said, do y'all have any extra tickets at the church? And she said, no, unfortunately, we can't give out that information. But here's a Facebook page and you can, people exchange, buy and sell tickets for the, the play there. So I get on and y'all have a wait list. And I'm like number 20 on this wait list. I get a message like a few hours later from a woman who was selling one ticket. And I was like, great, I'll take it. Because I was going to go by myself. I have no problem going to places by Couldn't myself. Couldn't just give me a ticket for me to take You've experienced it before. So I was going to go by myself. <laughs> and 30 minutes later, she said, I actually have another ticket. Do you want it? And I said, I could ask Micah. But it was last minute. I didn't know because he worked. He worked, so he was at work when I asked him. But he made it happen. So we went to that play together. That was our third date. It was really nice. Wasn't that nice? It was. I loved it. That, yeah. It was amazing. That was a great They put a lot of work into that show. Yeah. And then what did we do after the play? We sat in my yeah. car this time for hours. Yeah. She's not kidding. Hours. Like just talking. Oh, I'm feeling the butterflies again. <laughs> just every, talking. Every one of those dates in that week were uh, nothing was under four or five hours. Mm -hmm. So it was like we knew each other for months. Yeah, literally. I go to a camp for a young life the weekend of December 15th. And the day I got back, it was a Sunday, Micah asked me if I wanted to go. We planned a double date outing with Mikey, the girl, remember Mikey, the girl connected uh, Micah and I, and her now fiance, almost husband, Lenny. And we went to LA Bistro in Canton. That was really nice. No, I missed a big part. What part? Oh. So <laughs> before we went into the restaurant, Mikey and Lenny weren't there yet. Micah slow danced with me. Like he just grabbed me and just slow danced with me to the Christmas song. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. And we're just slow dancing underneath this light. And he was singing to me. Anyways, Lenny then gets there. We have dinner. We go to their place. I'm driving behind Micah. I call him and I said, I think I love you. And then he did this little sly laugh. For him. He said, <laughs> and he said, he said, I love you too. 
And I was just cheesing really hard <laughs> in the car. So we go to Mikey's place. We have a painting with the twist day at their apartment. We just had fun listening to music. And to this day, like we double date and we had a painting with the twist here last month. We ended up having a few more dates. Like we went to Novi, 12 Oaks Mall to go Christmas shopping together. And he was going to Jamaica the Monday before Christmas. And I was really sad because he was going to go for two weeks. I'm like, that's a long time. It was. It was a Saturday night, the Saturday before he left on Monday. And we were just talking about becoming a couple. And we both agreed that, you know, we probably shouldn't talk about that until the following year, like, you know, 2020. The next day we were having a, a date before he went to Jamaica. We go to church in the morning. And then I get in his car, I leave my car at the church parking lot and we go to Troy. And he takes me to, we went to a restaurant called First Wash in Troy. Really good, they have the best bacon. And if you're in Canton or the Metro Detroit area, there's a First Wash off of Ford Road in Canton that's opening this summer. I'm so excited. So anyways, we went to a donut shop first. We, we went to a donut shop first, then we went shopping, then we went to First Wash, had breakfast. Then after that, he took me to a winery. St. Julian's. St. Julian's Winery that he has a membership at. Who has memberships at wineries? I don't know. Wine's really good. We need to pick He has up. good, great taste too in wine. He's such, Micah is such a gentleman. I gotta say that. He sits me down at a table, gets our wine. What was it called? It's a peach something. Sweet Nancy Peach. Sweet Nancy Peach. It's a sweet one. I don't, I'm not usually a sweet wine person, but sweet Nancy Peach. It has a little bit of fizz in it. So he gets my our wine, and then he presents me with a card. And it was a lovely card. And he ends with, like, hopefully this will keep things fresh while I'm away. I read the card, I'm like, oh, this is so nice. And then I open up the gift. It was wrapped in a cute little candy thing. And it was a candle. I'm so and cheesy. I'm like, <laughs> it, it wasn't cheesy. It was really smart because... I was like, oh, work play, keep things fresh while he's gone, the candle, and it was a fresh smelling candle. I opened the candle and there's a diamond bracelet inside the candle. And I said, is this real? He takes my hand mm -hmm. and then what did you say? Will you marry me? He says, Shamaya, will you be my girlfriend? I contemplated saying yes, period, because I was like, should I take more time with this? But everything just felt so right. I can't even describe the feeling, but my mom, I had too many confirmations leading up to that and just within two weeks. So I know that's fast to some people and you might be watching this, you're like, oh, that girl, yeah, that was fast. Well, different for me like i just really had this feeling that it was right and a piece that i knew was only from god and god stayed in our relationship she kept asking me are you sure are you serious yeah i did because i'm like are you that was kind of my way of stalling to i was praying to god simultaneously while asking mike that question because i'm like god tell me to say god's like that girl you know what to say and i don't regret my yes so that was... And I don't regret asking. So what day in December was that? Let's see if you remember. 22nd. That was December 22nd. He goes to Jamaica the next day. Longest time apart ever. Actually, no. COVID has made it, like, long. That was crazy. COVID. That, yeah. yeah. When he texted his mom and told her that I said yes, ironically, it was at 3.20 p.m. And up to that point, I've been calling him my 3.20 based off of Ephesians 3.20. So they're just little cute God winks, I like to call it. Like God winking at me to say like, yeah, I got you girl, I'm in there. Mm -hmm. But that's how we met. Oh, <laughs> I love him. My family loves him too, my mom. My mom loves him. She calls him her son-in-law already. Mm -hmm. And his mom calls me her daughter. She'll call me <laughs> and just talk to me. We have good conversations. They're All not, the while, they're I don't not even, even know. about him. It's just about. I don't even know that they're talking. Yeah, so that's how Mike and I met. And who knows what's next for us? I pray that it's something greater. But what do you mean? It's been pretty great. You'll be along for the journey. 
signing off. Signing off. Thanks for watching this video, y'all. And we'll talk to you next time. I can't wait, though. Right, but bye. <laughs> that was good. Mm -hmm. I love you.